earliest references to Monaco appeared in early ancient times, when the rock and its natural harbor served as a protection for local tribes and sailors coming from the east. In the 6th century BC, a Ligurian tribe named Monoikos occupied the rock, which is probably the origin of the name Monaco. During its history, the place saw Roman and barbarian invasions ravaging the region. But the history of Monaco as a ruled territory began in 1297, when the Genovese Francesco Grimaldi, the cunning, captured the rock of Monaco. Dressed as a monk, he entered Monaco's castle with swords hidden under his clothes and then seized the fortress with his cousin Rainier I. This event is commemorated nowadays on the Monagesque coat of arms, where you can see two monks holding their swords. On the square in front of the Prince's Palace, there is a monument to the first of Grimaldi's dynasty. In the middle of the 90th century, Monaco was about to go bankrupt. Nobody knew what would have happened next, but the royal family offered a job to an outstanding French entrepreneur, François Blanc, also known as the magician of Hamburg for the success of the casino he had run there. In cooperation with the ruling family, he created La Société de Blanc de Mer, also called SBM, in 1863 and became a majority shareholder of the company. Together with his wife, Marie Blanc, François set out to build more than just a gambling house. He intended to create a world of luxury never seen before. Today, SBM owns all the casinos and best hotels and restaurants in Monaco. Towards the end of 1870s, the casino was finished by Charles Garnier, the famous architect of the Paris Opera House, Palais Garnier. The luxurious Hotel de Paris was built next to the casino and became a part of the gold mine, which was supposed to save the house of Grimaldi from bankruptcy. Blanc used his connections to build a railway into Monaco and generously thanked international newspapers for promoting his new business. Soon after this massive reconstruction, Monaco became a new destination for European elite and the revenues of the principality started increasing. In 1869, the success of the casino made it possible for the princely family to stop collecting income tax from the residents of the principality.
image of Monaco as glamorous and luxurious became even stronger when Prince Rainier III married the Hollywood star Grace Kelly. They met during her visit to the Cannes Film Festival in 1955. The story was like a fairy tale, but the new role of Kelly as the Princess of Monaco changed the life of the young actress. Grace Kelly had to give up her thriving career in Hollywood and she gave birth to three children, Caroline, Stephanie and Albert, who succeeded his father in 2005. After 27 years of marriage, Princess Grace of Monaco died in a car accident in the hills above the city. the reigning monarch, Prince Albert II, married Miss Charlene Whitstock, a former Olympic swimmer for South Africa. The couple has two children, Gabriela and Jacques. This is what made Monaco what is today, a playground for billionaires. But of course, the history of Monaco dates back from ancient times. And by the way, as a fun fact, 99.9% .9 of you are not subscribed to the channel. If you like the content, please subscribe, share and like the video, so the algorithm pushes the video to other people and thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next video.